How's it going, everybody? I want to share with you the Afro DJ Mac telephone tones rack. It's basically just got all those familiar tones we used to hear when we had to dial telephone numbers. Um, we've got the um, dial tone, busy signal when the phone is ringing, and when you leave your phone off the hook, you get. Um, these are all like you know, have a lot of feeling behind them. Um, and they can be really cool to use in your tracks um, for sort of special effects. I just want to give a shout out to Trifonic. Um, they made this video here and just listen how cool the opening sounds. I mean, right there, it's just beautiful sound design and Brian Trifon um, shows how to do telephone tones using FM8. Um, and I watched this video years ago, uh, really inspired me and helped me out with my use of logic and got me into Ableton Live, really, because I saw a tutorial he did and it kind of showed how awesome live can be. And um, he inspired me also to start making my own tutorials. So I, I feel I owe a lot to Brian Trifon. I want to give a shout out to him and a thank you because um, uh, he does some great work. So please check out his stuff. Um, so the telephone tones rack, I made this one using um, operator. So we've got the drum rack, which is set up nice for you to have um, just so you can get all the tones. And I got some nice little effects. You can add some hiss, like a, maybe like a crummy telephone speaker, a little bit crushing. Um, also, I've got this little EQ, which all of these effects are coming out of this little rack here. But this EQ8 is uh, taking out all the lows and the highs, so when I turn this on, and that comes on, it cuts out a lot of these extra frequencies that most telephone speakers aren't going to have anyway. I think this is especially noticeable when I have the bit crush on. Take that off and get a lot of other noise. So, what's kind of fun is you can use this rack and put a little delay on it to make it sound filter it out a little. Um, it can be a lot of fun. So I just want to show you how this can be accomplished and you can make this on your own. It's kind of a cool sound design thing to just walk yourself through. I'm going to drop operator in here and I want to just draw your attention to um, this little Wikipedia page that explains how these tones are actually made. And most of the telephone tones are just two frequencies, two sine waves together, but they create that harmonious tone that we've all uh, are now very familiar with. So for instance, the busy signal is just a combination of a 480 hertz sine wave and a 620 hertz sine wave. So we can do that in operator. If I take my first um, little operator here and I'll put that, I, that was 480. So we'll put 480 and that's gonna sound like this. I set it to fixed because that will make every key on your keyboard play the same note and it allows you to pick the exact frequency. So now for the second one, I'm going to set that to what was that 620, 620, and I'll turn that up. And now right now my algorithm is set so that the B modulates the A. So I'm just going to change that to this one. So this is having each, um, oscillator produce its own tone. So when I play these together now, we get that, that busy signal. Um, you can then, um, the ring back tone is simple to create, 440 and 480. So we already have a 480, so we'll just change this one to 440. And it's pretty cool, um, just by those two tones we get this. Four forty is what we want, and that's just the uh, kind of magical combination. I'm not really sure why these are the tones that have been used, but they are the ones. We'll make the dial tone where we just switch that to three fifty. Pretty cool. Um, so I've uh, set this up and I've sampled um, all the different sounds right here inside a simpler, and you are free to use these in your own productions. It can be a lot of fun to just add these different telephone tones to your productions. 
So I hope you enjoy that. And again, um, check out Trifonic if you haven't done so already. You can go to nextstepaudio.com. Um, and really, there's some great stuff on there. I found it super inspiring, and I hope you do too. And I hope that you enjoy the Afro DJ Mac telephone tones rack for Ableton Live. Yeah. 